17. Now, beyond the numbers that flash on the screen, counting those infected and killed uh, by COVID-19, and they're always horrific, we often forget uh, through the sadness and the fear that this is also causing American, our American family a lot of pain. We have to ask, what is this virus doing to us as a people as we deal with the victims and trying to prevent more deaths? Well, apparently, it's turning us into a nation of snitches. If you've observed recurring violations of the Safer at Home order, please continue to let us know at coronavirus.lacity.org slash business violation. You know the old expression about snitches? Well, in this case, snitches get rewards. We want to thank you for turning folks in and making sure we are all safe. I have a question, Mayor Garcetti of Los Angeles. Who keeps us safe from you? It's become abundantly clear that in the midst of this unprecedented health crisis, that there are bad actors everywhere trying to use this to their advantage. Sean and I were just talking about some of them. From washed up celebrities lip syncing their greatest hits on YouTube to politicians using fear to cram down policies that would be inconceivable to us under normal circumstances. Now, while we as a nation continue doing our part to keep ourselves and each other safe during these very difficult days, we cannot stand idly by as people in either party take advantage of this very complicated and dire situation. As a society, beyond just this immediate situation, we should start looking forward to understand how this experience is going to change us or how it should change us. Because this is going to be transformative. When do we get back to normal? I don't think we get back to normal. When do we get back to normal? I don't think we get back to normal. Wait, 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 wait a second. Wait a second. I thought we don't get back to normal. Now, I thought the whole point of locking ourselves in our homes was to save lives, of course, and then go back to our old normal lives. Now, the Democrats... Time is short. We do not have the time that everybody seems to think that we have. That rapture is going to take place soon. We are in the 70th week, the 70 week, 70 year prophecy in Daniel. <clears throat> Israel's still in the birthday. They're still celebrating birthday. So people need to get in line because Christ is coming. And he's coming very soon. He's coming very soon. I can't stress that enough. We're going to see the King. Jesus Christ is the King of Kings, Lord of Lords. He is the Messiah. He is the Son of God. But then right after I saw that, I literally saw the sky on the right side open up and Jesus was sitting on his throne and he had angels all around and they were getting ready to, to come back. And so I really wanted to say that because I feel like we need to be uh, paying attention to the sky because we're lifting our heads for our redemption is drawing nigh. So I feel like he wants us to pay attention to the skies, to the sky. <laughs> um, so I really felt like I needed to mention that. And he told me, time is short, repent, my son is coming soon. Thank you.